Good morning, I'm Robert Smith with Lockard Companies. We're excited to uh, be here today, April 1st. This is no April Fool's. We're having Walmart come to Renaissance Square, the largest footprint they're building today, the uh, Walmart Supercenter. We're excited to have them come and uh, open for business. We're not sure how quickly we can get through the process, either late 2012, early 2013. Got two very impressive, important <laughs> gentlemen with me today, Dave Wilson, is also with Lockard. He uh, is responsible in large part for a lot of the things that are happening here at uh, Renaissance Square working with tenants and others that are working. Todd Brown uh, comes to us. He's our, our partner from Mariah Real Estate Company. Al, Al uh, Branch could not be with us here today. He's out uh, scoping other opportunities, but the two of them have been great partners and they're, they're investors and we've teamed up to try and bring something very special to Southeast Fort Worth. So uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here and uh, excited about what's coming. This project means sustainable economic development for Southeast Fort Worth Incorporated. Uh, the community, uh, the neighbors, the citizens who've long needed the, the need for new development, new stores, and the opportunity to provide uh, sustainable growth for the community throughout the area. This opportunity of this new large retailer coming to Southeast Fort Worth is very critical and brings about unity in Fort Worth. Well, in uh, 2005, Michael Mallett came to me. He, Michael had put together this property, uh, saving it from having gas wells drilled all over it, and had a vision for this property. And we came in as, as land developers looking at to bring in our vertical developer partners on this property. Uh, had never been down the, in this part of town, even though my family's been in Fort Worth since 1890, and came over and looked at this, thought, what a wonderful piece of property, the largest undeveloped track in Fort Worth inside the loop. Then you get to look in the community, you see the tremendous needs that are over here. There's basically nothing happened in Southeast Fort Worth in 50 years. From a retail standpoint, there's only one grocery store and one national chain pharmacy and a, for 130,000 people. So we, we saw a need. So we bought the property, zoned the property with Michael, and then came back in and uh, brought in Lockard Properties and the Brown Group out of Midland, Texas to uh, do the shopping center first. And so we have a 67 acre development here. Uh, and I guess where our big announcement will be this morning is to our first big anchor tenant. And then we're developing another 106 acres immediately to the south of this property, part of the overall property uh, in residential and medical office. Well, um, I was elected to the council in 2005, and since then we have really been working to get uh, quality economic development in this community. And this is truly um, not only significant for me as the council member for this area, but significant as a lifelong resident of Southeast Fort Worth. This is truly historic, especially in tough, difficult economic times that um, we're about to make a huge uh, investment in the community, something folks have been waiting for for so, so many years. So it's very exciting and it really feels like a dream come true. You know, it, the excitement is really building and, um, you know, it, it just, uh, and, and the, the exciting thing is we've only just begun. There will be a number of announcements coming over the next couple of months about new businesses that had never even thought of this area, never even considered it. And residents have been waiting for this for so very long. Uh, so many of my constituents tell me they have to drive 20 minutes outside of here just to get quality grocery stores. Um, that changes today. The mayor and I visited uh, Walmart headquarters a couple of years ago and started telling the story about Southeast Fort Worth and how important this was to come to this area. And so the fact that this is one of the few Walmarts that's even going to be built in the entire United States this year is terribly exciting and it will be the biggest anchor here um, with um, uh, thousands of more square feet of retail coming to the area. So we're, we're delighted. As many of you know, this site has been eyed for development for many, many years. It's rich with history, as a Masonic orphanage for over 100 years here in South East Fort Worth, providing care and education to disadvantaged children. And this legacy of service to the community will continue as you see things coming here in, in this area. And hopefully it'll be the backbone of the economic uh, revitalization of Southeast Fort Worth. As we said at the April groundbreaking last spring, our intention was to commence vertical construction the end of this year, and that continues to be our intent. And we're hoping that by the end of this year, or excuse me, by the end of 2012, early 2013, that you'll be able to actually shop in this community. I'd like to read you a portion of the press release and the announcement that uh, has been released to the media, and uh, that's what we're here for this morning. And then we'll have some comments from the mayor and uh, Ms. Hicks, and uh, we'll do the unveiling here. 
We're excited that after much anticipation, we're, we're announcing today not just an anchor tenant, but a great anchor tenant. It'll be a super Walmart. Yeah. Not just any super Walmart. This will be the, this, will, this 180,000 square foot Walmart Super Center with both groceries and services for you. It's the largest footprint that Walmart is building today. They've seen they started off on a smaller footprint and are now going to their larger footprint because of a lot of things that are happening here in South East Fort Worth. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Yay. Walmart Stores is under contract to purchase about 18 acres of the ground that you see behind us. Um, they're in the process. They're in the process of doing their due diligence, working through with the city. We anticipate their due diligence to go smoothly. They've given us permission to announce their name today, and, and we're just pleased to have them be a part of this process. So um, congratulations to everyone. You know, it takes a lot of time for this size of project to, to come to fruition. So we appreciate each of you patiently, continuously supporting us as we've, we've gone through this process. I am excited about what's happening here. As we came out Rosedale, Kathleen, you are starting to see needed infrastructure in this part of a city that has been historically overlooked, historically out of sight, out of mind. And that time is past. That's over. So I am delighted to welcome Walmart Renaissance Square and for your continued support and commitment to revitalizing this vital part of our city. Words cannot express the excitement I feel today, not only as your council member, but as a lifelong resident of Southeast Fort Worth. Hold fast to your dreams. This day, as the mayor said, is not just about one person, but a team. And there are so many to thank that I really don't know where to begin. I can't believe how far we've come in just a couple of years. And I will never forget picking up the phone one afternoon and calling Michael Malik and saying, hey, don't you want to purchase 200 acres in the neighborhood? I think he dropped the phone and said, I knew that Kathleen Hicks was crazy. <laughs> Hold fast to your dreams. And that is exactly what we've done. And that's why we're here this morning. I can't overstate how important this day is to all of us, and let me tell you, we've only just begun. Onward and upward, District 8. Thank you very much.